What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm really excited to bring you this video because we're gonna do three men's cuts in one video. And the reason we're gonna do that is because all the sides, the cut on the sides is pretty much the same. So we took that down with the clipper. And then what I did was I went through and I changed the top of the haircut, just tweaked it a little bit to create three different styles. I went through GQ magazine and found a longer cut, a medium cut, and then a shorter cut. And this is all um, very salon friendly haircuts, very trendy haircuts right now. So I know you guys are gonna be able to use them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's get started with the video. No wasting time, here we go. All right guys, so three different men's cuts in one video. The way that we're gonna do this is I'm gonna cut the sides first. The sides are gonna be uh, pretty generic to fit all three haircuts. So we're gonna do a nice kind of uh, medium length taper on the sides starting out nice and short. So what I do uh, with every men's cut is I go through and I blow dry with my comb first. So we shampoo them, get all the product out of their hair. Now I'm gonna go through and take out all the bulk using my uh, number two blade with the Andis Supra ZR Clipper. I like using the metal blades as opposed to the plastic guards when I'm taking out a lot of bulk. So this allows me to work quicker. It's a motor driven clipper blade as opposed to a magnetic clipper blade. Um, and what that's gonna do is just give me more power, more drive power behind it. So it's easier to work through that hair. So if you're ever trying to run your clipper through the hair and it gets stuck, um, a lot of times that has to do with just the power of the blade. So the Supra ZR is cool because it has um, multi-level um, speeds to the blade. So you can actually move the blade really fast when you want to go through the haircut quickly. And then you can slow it down if you want to do a little more detail work. The faster you go through a haircut, the more steps that are going to be involved in the haircut. So you want to go through nice and slow, but also be efficient at the same time. Now I'm going to go through using my, uh, this is a YS Park 337 comb and my Mizutani six and a half inch blacksmith fit scissor. What I'm doing is blending that weight line. So as I was going through with the clipper, I was following um, the ridge of the head from the, just below the recession point down to low crown. And that kind of gives me that diagonal back feel to the weight line. I really like that in men's cuts. Um, it's one of my favorite ways to kind of just follow the head shape through. Uh, you'll see it in a lot of men's cuts that I do. I also think it's very on trend to do that as well. And so I'm going through just lifting and taking out some of that weight with my scissor. I love doing scissor over comb. A lot of you have asked for a video of just scissor over comb. I'm probably not gonna do that. The only reason I I won't do that is because it's not something I do in the salon. I do a lot of clipper work on the sides. Then I go through with scissor over comb. I like doing both techniques for two different reasons. I need the speed in the salon and I like working efficiently. I like going in, taking out that bulk and then going through and doing my detail work with scissor over comb. So I'm gonna move in, just detail the sides with the with the trimmer. Obviously you would customize that to your guest. So um, with the mannequin, he kind of has a square back, but if you wanted to round it or do whatever, uh, you can customize that for your guest. So we finished the sides. Now we're gonna start with our first look. You can see it's a long disconnected uh, top. I love this look. I think it's very popular um, in the salon right now. So we're gonna go through step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna show you how to blend this. So we're gonna start in the back, mid-crown area, working vertical and over directing everything to the previous. So I'm working my way around the crown. Notice the way that I comb the hair. I'm combing the hair uh, away from my body towards the guide so that I don't lose my guide, I don't move my guide from where it lives, and I just keep that pattern going through. So you're gonna see now as I turn, I comb and I push the hair away. A lot of people would just keep pulling that and gathering it together, and a lot of those haircuts that you guys see on Instagram or you see that just have those really, really clean lines to them, um, the reason for that is because they're being so particular with their sectioning and their blow drying and the styling and the finishing of the men's cut. So I just work my way through staying very consistent and following the round of the head. So key thing as I'm going around the corner, I'm following around the head the entire time I work through the crown, but then once I get to that corner right behind the right ear, then I start over directing everything straight back to me. So what that's gonna do is start pushing that length 
towards the front and give me all that extra length in the front. The other thing that we're doing is we're building up extra weight over the parting. So my finger angle is adjusted so that the longest point is at the most inside point of my finger. So my fingertip is more of a blend feel in the back, and then the inside of my finger at the very top is a longer portion. So then what we're going to do is we're going to create a nice solid hard line on the side of the head. The reason I like to do this just gives my haircut a nice clean look uh, in the end result. So I'll go through, just take that horizontal section all the way through the top, bring it over to me as a stationary guide. That's going to give me my nice clean line. Then when I go through and style it, you'll be able to see that clean line just gives the haircut more definition. Now I'm going to go through with my comb, lifting the hair up, blow drying it back, blow drying the hair exactly the way that I want it to live. Um, this is a good thing. If you're a guy watching this and you don't do hair, this is a great way to style your hair. Make sure you use that blow dryer. A lot of people, a lot of men, um, if you're not using a more greasy product, if you don't blow dry your hair, most men's products nowadays are water soluble. So basically what that means is if it touches water, it starts to kind of um, disappear it doesn't work as well so you want to use that blow dry to get the hair set where you want it and then go in and put your product in we're going to use Ruzel for the first style this is the pink Ruzel. it's a nice firm hold to it um, it gives it a nice sleek look it's not a wet product but it does have a nice little medium sheen to it and then I go through and I comb the product into the hair I think this is something that we've lost al along the way through the textured movement of men's hair and all of that um, but go through and just comb the product through the hair to get it nice and evenly saturated, and then you get that finished look. All right, guys, so this is haircut number two, and the big difference between this haircut and the previous one is it's disconnected in the back crown area, um, but it's more connected on the sides and in the front. So the front gets a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by working in the crown area. We already have our sides cut, so feeling good about that. We used our two guard or two blade for that. Now I'm going to go through blow dry the crown area. Working that back and forth, this is my 339 comb from YS Park. It's got nice tight teeth and I work that crown area to get all those cowlicks kind of worked out and laying in the natural fall. That's going to help me work more efficiently. Also, I don't like uh, either clipper over or comb uh, clippering or scissor over comb work on wet hair because it, wet hair is not going to really tell me the truth. And as I go through, I don't get as blended of a line because the hair clumps together more. So as I work through the back, I'm doing a scissor over comb technique. And the reason I chose scissor over comb, you could just kind of buzz through this with a clipper. I think that's what a lot of people do. And it's one of the reasons why I don't really love this haircut when I see it on people sometimes. Because they go th all the way through the crown, they buzz all the way up, and then it becomes too disconnected. They cut the crown way too short. And, um, you know, and then those calyx kind of start peeking out in just different ways. And some people just cut the calyx completely off. I like scissor over comb because it allows me to decide what kind of length I want, especially around the calyx area. Because um, if they have kind of a crazy wave pattern or growth pattern in the back, I like to work through that. Um, now what I'm going to do is go through and blend. We're going to work, um, whether you call it vertical or horizontal, uh, straight through the back and over directing everything to the previous section. So complete blend all the way through. But again, watch my combing, how I comb everything to the guide. So on the left side, I combed everything towards away from my body. And then on the right side, I comb everything towards my body. So we're going to continue working through the top of the head, taking a little section by section. Um, staying organized is the most important part. And what I want to do is I want to create extra length in the front, like the image or the picture that you saw at the beginning. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm shifting my elbow up, which is shifting my finger angle and allowing extra length in the front of the haircut. Notice again my combing. So I'm combing everything towards the guideline. And now as I work down this side, I do the same exact thing. So over directing everything towards myself to the previous section. Now we're going to work into the front. And now you have to pay attention to the fact that the head shape now shifts. So I shift my elbow up in the mid part of the haircut to add that extra length. But now through the front, I don't want to shift my elbow up. I want to cut straight across because the head shape starts to shift down. So I don't want to, if I shifted my elbow up at this point, it would leave the front way too long and it would throw off the style. So I'm just following that head shape now, letting the forehead do the over direction for me. 
Same concept with the combing, staying very consistent with that is going to help him when he's at home recreate this style very easily. So now I'm combing away from my body towards the guideline. So you can see the length, the amount of length in the front of this haircut. If I were to lift that elbow, you can imagine how much extra length would have been there. It would have had way, way too much length to fit the style. All right, so that ends look number two. We're gonna style it up now. Um, so I'm going through blow drying with my 339 comb, um, really working any of those calyx out. You can see the short uh, feel to the crown of the hair and also using that comb to pop up the front of the haircut. You can see that the style is almost there already. And then all I do is just go in and add that rusel. This is the green rusel, has a little more of a thick feel, a little wetter feel and not so firm of a hold but you can see how it's nice and sleek in the crown and then pops right up in the front. Obviously, you could take this haircut shorter or longer uh, to fit your guests, but make sure you do that, customize it for what they're looking for. And this is the other style with the same exact haircut. So I want to give you guys kind of a bonus. In GQ Magazine, where, which is where I got all of these looks from, um, there was more of a sleek kind of wet feel to this style as well. So I'll show you that now. So you can see how it's just kind of slicked over. It's the same exact haircut, same exact guy, um, but they just slicked it over. So it's kind of a neat look for it as well. Now... We're going to go through with our third look, which is a little more of a normal look. This is for your, you know, older clientele or somebody that's not looking for quite that much disconnection, just a nice sleek haircut. So what I'm going to do is just work that round of the head. And instead of all the over directing back that I did in the other haircuts, all I'm doing is bringing it back to the previous section. So not as much extreme over direction and going through using a point cutting technique. And the reason I'm point cutting is because I want to add a lot more texture to the top of the haircut. Following the round of the head, remember, even though I'm following the round of the head, that hair is still going to fall a little bit heavier on the corners. So it's not going to give it a round feel because weight still has to build up somewhere. It's just going to make the weight build up a little bit softer. So just know that if your guest has, you know, a, a really high density of hair, a lot of times they want you to follow the round of the head because it will give them more of a square look in the end. So just point cutting through, over directing back to the previous still at this point using point cutting with the scissor. This is the Ichi Nino San number one scissor from Mizutani. Uh, it's a five and a half inch scissor. I'm going through, it's got the gold finish on it, just over directing back. Using the forehead again at this point, the curve of that forehead, over directing it back to the previous section is actually giving me extra length because the forehead has that kind of curved down feel to it. And then I go through and I blow dry with my comb again, work out all those calyx, and I'm going to go through and style it with a finishing product. So just working, you can see that I use the nozzle of the blow dryer. A lot of people throw away that nozzle. I think nowadays it's a little more popular to keep it on there. But guys got to realize that if you use that nozzle, you can see how it just lays the hair down exactly the way I want it to. Now we got the styles set. We go in with our Rusal pomade just to um, kind of finish it off and add those little finishing touches to it, showcase that parting in there, uh, but it's a nice sleek look. So I hope you guys liked all of these different cuts. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you liked them all, uh, which one was your favorite, and thank you guys so much for checking out this video. All right, guys, and if you like today's video, like always, post in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite cut was on the video, and maybe I'll make a separate video for that one as well. Go to fsesocial.com. That's our social media website uh, where you can join and interact with other hairdressers and just become a part of the conversation. Love to have you on there. Also, check out our online store, freesaloneducation.com. Use the code MATTBECKVLOG, uh, all one word, and you'll get 20% off your entire purchase. Um, thank you guys so much for always checking out the vlog and supporting it. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.